Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting and breaking down probably what is considered Stevie Ray Vaughan's most epic moment of all time. Now, a full disclaimer, I've watched this video about a billion times, so it's not one of those first time like corny reactions where it's like, oh my God. But every time I watch it, it just keeps getting better to be honest. It never, never gets old. So I thought it would be the perfect video to actually break down a bit. I must have been about 10 or 11 when I first watched this video and watching this whole Austin City Limits concert by Stevie basically shaped my whole career going forwards. I wanted to be a blues musician. I wanted to buy old guitars like Stevie. I wanted to do all this stuff because of seeing this very performance. This particular song is Look At Little Sister and if you guys haven't seen it before, there's definitely a cool surprise in the middle of the solo. So yeah, let's just break it down a bit and uh, let's watch it together. By the way, just before we even get into the guitar playing, uh, Reese's fingers there, you can tell he's got piano fingers. Look how long those fingers are, man. It's like just made, for, made to be playing piano. Here he goes, look. You can just see like the intensity, like um, he's hitting on that high E string. Okay, so there's the moment. You can hear he's going like. And then you hear all of a sudden he misses a, a note almost, but it's not too noticeable because he just carries on like a, a true trooper as he is, but you can tell the moment's happened and he's broke his guitar string. I don't know if you can see it. But look at that string. Wait, look at that string. Look at how thick that is. That's an E string. That's just, the, these are 10s or 11. I can't remember what these are, but look how skinny these are. And look at that monstrous string. I can see why they say that Stevie used to use telephone pole wires for his, uh, for his strings, because that really is crazy. By the way, if you break a string on a strap, as you strap players will probably know, if you have your bridge set up in a certain way, if you break a string, it will, it will throw the whole tension of the guitar out, and then where your 12th fret would have once been, it then changes down uh, or, or, or up. So um, I've had it where I've been doing a gig, and I've broke a string, I've been playing an E, and then literally the string's broken, I would have had to go up to the 13th fret to compensate for the the, the tension difference. So to be fair, Stevie's a little bit lucky here that his guitar didn't get completely thrown off, but um, still unlucky that he broke a string, so. That just never gets old. How does he? How does he do that? And not only, not only how does he do that? How does his guitar tech, Renny Martinez, choreograph something like that? Manage to time it perfectly so that Stevie comes in without missing a beat. Let's watch that moment again and just dissect it a bit because that is literally insane. Okay, so there, a little quick glance over. Tommy Shannon on bass is looking over a little bit concerned, like he knows something is going on, but Stevie has obviously been given the nod, or he's giving the nod to Rene Martinez, and they know something's about to go down, so. Like Look, already taking off his guitar while, while singing. By the way, that's hard to do. Like, it, if you ask someone to quickly change guitars without being under pressure, with all the lights, the audience there, the fact that it could go horrendously wrong, to even do that without that pressure is very hard in about twice or three times the time, let alone in this short time frame. Like there, how is he holding it and playing it? Because there's no strap, there's no strap. Is he literally just like brute forcing the guitar against his body with his right arm? Look, you, there's no strap. There, 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 look, there's no strap on yet because Rene's putting it on there and he's yet to fasten it on the, the bottom side of the guitar. So, what the heck? No, he's just playing that. He's just playing it and it's literally, Rene's not holding it up. Stevie must just be like playing like this. Fuck, that's, that's hard. 
To be, surely he's not doing that, that's really hard. If he's doing that, then fair play. I mean, he, I mean, he has to be though, because there's no other way that it's, the guitar's just floating there, you know? Woo! You can hear the crowd just go crazy. Like you can literally hear them like, they know they've witnessed a moment in history that can never be replicated. You can just hear them going crazy. There, there is one thing, there is one thing that I've always thought about this, and this is not to downplay the moment at all because it's crazy, but listen to this. Here, you can hear it go straight into the, the four position on this Look at Little Sister blues progression. So it goes. And you can hear that Stevie doesn't miss a beat, but look at his hands and listen, listen to the audio. They've obviously pasted in some, some other audio just to make it more of a smooth transition. And again, I'm not taking away from this moment, but listen to it here. There's like two or three seconds there where you can hear and Stevie's hand is moving down. So they, they, they've been a bit sneaky yet. They've added it in post-production, but again, we can't take it away from them. But unless of course Stevie is actually a wizard and he's like playing that position as he moves his way down the fretboard, like. <laughs> but that's not possible because you could, you could hear it. Every time we talk about anyone breaking a guitar string, I always see the comments saying, well, it's not as good as the Steve Ray Vaughan string change. And I think I'd have to agree with that because it's just so smooth. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon it's, uh, they'd practiced that together about a thousand times in the past? Or do you reckon it was just one of those moments where ev everything aligned perfectly and it was just one of those genius moments that can't be replicated? Or was it, or was the whole thing planned and they, Stevie was proper digging into that note to get the string to break so they knew they could do that change. That could be a conspiracy right there. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this impromptu reaction video. If you guys happen to like this style of content, please subscribe because we have some Stevie Ray Vaughan based content coming out soon, which I think you guys would really like. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in a bit and cheers.